Welcome to Universal Summary. I'm going to show you a drama horror mystery film called Eli. Movie was released in 2019. The movie begins, 11-year-old Eli Miller is traveling with his parents headed to a secluded medical facility. Eli suffers from a rare autoimmune disease rendering him extremely vulnerable to the outside world. Unable to breathe the air, Eli spends his life in a sterile bubble and walks around wearing an airtight hazmat suit. His parents, Rose and Paul, seek the help of Dr. Horn and bring Eli to her private medical institution, an old mansion that's been converted to a sterile facility. Rose and Paul believe Dr. Horn is their last hope to help Eli heal from his condition. Eli arrives at his room and finally gets to take his hazmat suit off. Eli and Rose are overjoyed, being able to hold each other for the first time in years. At night, Eli hears strange noises and whispers and has an unusual encounter with a mist window but gets dismissed the following morning by the adults when he informs them. They begin the first stage of the procedure, heading into an operation room and the nurses strap Eli to an operating table. Dr. Horn informs him that she'll be injecting a modified virus to reset his immune system. Eli slowly falls unconscious as Dr. Horn operates. He gains consciousness and is in terrible pain. He asks to be let go, but Dr. Horn tells him the pain is a sign the procedure is working. Eli screams from the pain and his skin blisters. He writhes in pain trying to free himself from the bonds before passing out again. Later in his room, Eli hears sounds coming from his window again. He approaches it but instead of the mist, he sees a girl outside throwing rocks. The girl gestures Eli to come follow her. Eli then explores the house looking for a way to get closer to the girl and finds a room with huge glass windows. He finds the girl, Haley, on the other side of the window and she tells him she's seen other kids in the facility before. Eli tries to impress her with a magic card trick but Haley shows off a trick of her own by setting a twig on fire. Eli invites her inside but she refuses saying the house feels eerie and that she's not welcome inside. On his way back to his room, Eli sees a sealed room with lots of furniture covered with cloth. He shines a flashlight in and sees a ghostly girl appear. Eli starts running but as he shines the flashlight, the ghost gets closer and closer. Eli trips and sees a shadow closing in on him behind a curtain. The curtain opens but it's Paul who appears. Later while Eli lays in bed, he feels a sudden chill and hears whispering. He looks around and sees a silhouette behind a curtain but no one is there. He tries communicating via the mist on the window and fogs it up with his breath and writes his name. Eli is surprised to see the ghost writing back. It erases his name and writes, lie, instead. Eli steps back and sees from a mirror a girl standing by the window writing with her finger but when he checks, no one is there. Eli tries to calm himself but a ghost appears in front of him. He tries to crawl away but the ghost grabs him. He starts shouting but it's actually Paul who's grabbing him, trying to wake him up. Dr. Horn, Rose, and Paul discuss what's happening to Eli. Dr. Horn tells them that this is all a result of the medication. The medicine they placed him under is strong and warns that Eli's condition could worsen before he starts healing. The next day, it's time for Eli's second procedure and the nurses strap him to a table again. Dr. Horn injects him with a solution and Eli immediately starts writhing in pain. He tells them it's burning him but Dr. Horn says it's supposed to. As the medicine takes effect, they take a drill and start drilling into Eli's skull. Outside, Dr. Horn informs Paul and Rose that Eli is having an adverse reaction to the procedure. At dinner, Eli tells hi. As parents he wants to leave because he feels like his condition is getting worse and now he even feels more sick. Paul gets angry and tells him the procedure is working and that they should stay. Eli returns to his bedroom and he hears more noises. In his bathroom, he sees a shadow walking behind the shower curtain and later sees someone standing behind him in the mirror. A hand reaches out for Eli and he sprints for the door but it's locked. He calls to his parents, begging to be let out and sees the ghost slowly walking toward him. With nowhere left to go, Eli hides in his wardrobe closet. The ghost starts pounding and scratching on the door and Eli keeps screaming. The pounding stops and Eli steps out to see the ghost has etched into his wardrobe the word lie over and over. His parents and Dr. Horn runs in and sees the mess in Eli's room. They confront him and Eli tries to tell them what's been happening but they don't believe him, citing the side effects as the cause of Eli hallucinations. Later, Haley shows up again and she tells Eli that a previous patient, 
Perry, came before him and also mentioned seeing ghosts in the house. She also tells him that when it came time for the third procedure, she never saw him ever again. Before they could finish talking, Eli hears strange noises again and goes to investigate. He checks the hallway when an unseen force tries to grab him. Eli starts running but starts getting dragged away. From the reflection, he sees three ghosts dragging him. They finally dump him at the house's front door. Knowing he'll start burning and blistering once he gets into contact with the air outside, Eli begs the ghosts to stop but the door opens. Eli tries to hold his breath and the doctors and his parents come to the rescue. They try to subdue Eli but he tells them he knows about Perry. Rose tries to calm Eli down but an angry Eli answers back and accidentally slams his hand through glass, wounding himself. Eli faints and wakes up back in his room. Back in his room, Eli sees the scratches the ghost made is not the word lie but may actually be an upside down 317. Eli meets with Haley again and tells her that he thinks the ghosts aren't trying to hurt him but are actually trying to help him escape and the 317 they've been writing may be a code to a door somewhere. Later that night, Eli tries to sneak into a locked part of the house and successfully gets in by using the code. He finds his way into an office and looks for records of previous patients. He sees mists on the doors and hears whispers, guiding him to a file drawer. He sees files for the other patients and sees that all of them have died on the third procedure. Eli runs from the office to his parents trying to tell them about what happened to the last patients but only finds his father. Paul talks to Eli and tries to apologize to him, but as he hugs him, he injects Eli with a serum. The nurses rush in and drag Eli to the operating room. Eli breaks free and locks himself in Dr. Horn's study. There, he discovers that Dr. Horn is actually a nun. He also finds a secret passage that leads underground. He finds a room with a circular tomb surrounded by an altar with a cross and a dagger. The adults catch up and trap him in the underground chamber. Eli demands to be let back in but Dr. Horn says they have to leave him in the basement. Everyone leaves and Eli passes out. A few minutes later, Eli wakes up and finds himself breathing normally. He calls for his mother and she comes back down. In the basement, Rose, tries to apologize to Eli and tells him they're all just trying to help and promises to explain everything once the final procedure is completed. Eli slumps down pretending to fall unconscious and, Rose, runs in to help. He slips away and runs up past the operating room and into the room with the huge windows where he sees Haley Wadey. Ing for him. She tells him he has to be brave and that he mustn't be scared as it's Dr. Horn and the others who are scared of him. He tries breaking open the window but Paul comes in and drags him away. In the basement, Rose, opens the tomb and sees all the past patients dead and buried. She finally realizes that none of Dr. Horn patients have been healed and all of them end up dead. Paul helps the nurse restrain Eli but, Rose, shows up with the dagger and holds everyone at knife point. Dr. Horn says she can still save him but, Rose, is determined to escape with Eli. Paul overpowers, Rose, and holds her back as Dr. Horn begins the procedure. Eli watches Dr. Horn reach not for surgery equipment, but for a Bible and holy water. Eli is confused but is still trying to get himself free. Dr. Horn starts by chanting the Lord's Prayer and asking Saint Michael to help Eli. She takes holy water and blesses Eli. She is performing an exorcism. Eli's skin burns and sizzles when the holy water touches him and with his screams, the lights flicker and sparks fly. Dr. Horn takes the dagger and prepares to stab Eli in the heart. She brings down the dagger but it stops millimeters from his heart. She tries to fight but it seems Eli is in control of her hand and he makes Dr. Horn stab herself in the heart. The nurses panic and try to run for the door but Eli stops them. Eli restraints burn off and he stands and makes Dr. Horn and the nurses levitate. He turns to, Rose, and demands to know what's happened to him. Rose, finally confesses the truth and tells Eli she's tried to have a son but nothing happened. Only when she prayed to the devil was she finally granted a baby. Paul runs up behind Eli dagger in hand, but Eli turns and makes his Paul face implode. Eli is the son of the devil. Eli embraces his newfound powers and identity and heads outside. Haley meets him at the door and reveals to him that she, along with the previous patients, are half-siblings. They're all spawns of the devil. Haley offers to take Eli to their father and, Rose, appears behind them. Rose, offers Eli a coat, telling him it's cold outside. Haley and Eli get into a car and order, Rose, to drive them. 
A distraught Rose gets in and starts panicking, but Eli tells her to breathe and calm down. They share a smile and drive away. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like. Leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie until next time. Comment will help to grow our channel. Thank you for watching.